you want to be able to move the pickup back and forth to find the best place. You'd want to be able to rotate the pickup for best alignment with the slugs and the strings. And you'd also want to be able to raise and lower both ends of the pickup in order to balance the treble and bass as best you could for you know whatever sounds best or what you're looking to get out of the pickup. And then you'd also probably want it to have screws so that you could do even further fine adjustment if possible. So, so if you were going to like, let's say, just use this pickup in this guitar, you'd move it around, you move it up and down, you move the bass and treble side, you rotate it, you adjust all the screws until you got it sounding just as good as you could. So, yeah, come up with a, maybe like a track that bolts into the bottom right here and goes back and forth on the track and rotates and then has like two screw post mounts for a like surface mount equivalent for a pickup and it's just a little bracket basically and then market it for guitars. But then again, conventional guitars have routes and stuff, which makes none of that possible. So, I guess tradition loses again. Oh well, imagine that. Things got better over time. Who would have thunk? All right, but anyway, I'm rambling. I'm not going to get on that bandwagon. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if this is going to be easy to do or not. I'm hoping I can just pull the string off the saddle, get it out of the way to screw, and then just kind of do this kind of thing. This doesn't have that long a screw in it. I don't know if the bobbin, if it's threaded through the plastic on the bobbin or what, whether it's just threaded through wax. I don't think it's, yeah, it's out. There it is. All right, we'll see what happens. Where did I put it? Okay, the saw screws back in and flush with the bottom. Now let me crank the base up. Okay, the base screw is all the way up. It's just kind of like just sitting in there. It's not even really threaded. It does make a little difference. So yeah, it makes a little louder. But that seems to be all you get. Let me try putting other screws down. Okay, they'll only go down a little bit, maybe a mil and a half or so. Yeah, about a mil and a half. About the same action on this string right now. So, uh, and it doesn't seem to make it. I did the four center ones down. This is still flush with the bobbin. It doesn't seem to make much of a difference. This is definitely louder. I think it might have reduced the volume on these guys, these three a bit. This one, since it's still up flush, that makes that a little loud. I remember like before when I was doing the X5, you crank this one up, you have to crank that up all the way down in order to keep this from overpowering. So, I think what might be going on is this 
pickup might not really be that suitable for screw adjustments or not have a really wide range of adjustability. But I believe this is the original pickup from the X5 and it should have a good range. This is the one that was all cranked up. Let's see, the two outside screws were backed out 12 turns, full turns. And then the numbers 2 and 5 were screwed in 12, uh, 10 full turns. Now let's see, this was backed out 12, that was backed out 12, these were, these were both screwed in 12, and these were screwed in 6, as I recall. And that gave a pretty nice curve, so. Let me see, let me try something like that. Be back.